Hi, welcome to Heart Vision. Heart Vision is the short version of the awakening. Um, it comes from here. It was developed from a song that I wrote with Paul McDonald called Heart Vision that opens this and I will also put on the film I made because it's seeing everything from the heart instead of the body's eyes, okay? So today's Heart Vision is about the people in your life, the tribe that you thought are, your, are really going to be there for you in war situations. This is a war and they're not there for you. When you see from the body's eyes, you're angry, you're fed up, you're really, really angry with these people because you feel cheated, you feel unhappy, you feel that you gave them your heart, you gave them your trust, you gave, you gave, and you really felt that this person was your friend, your tribe. You know, it's a bit like a child growing up in a family, thinking that family loves them. And then boom, war happens and they're gone. They don't want you. They're projecting that image that they don't want you. They're absolutely no interest in you. And that's it. You don't see them. You never see them when you really feel that it would be really nice to see them because it'll help you negotiate the awakening. So that's from the eyes. Now from the heart, this is another learning experience, okay? This is an experience for you to understand, first of all, to think about the fact that you, these people that you attract, that you think are your tribe are not, uh, and so you need to get very strong on your own, is from the heart. These are your mirrors. They're showing you something that you need to learn about yourself. And as I said in the awakening, it could be that you need to put down a boundary and say, no, I will not accept this anymore. This is not a friendship. Friendships to me are communication. And this is not a friendship. If you can't even text me once a week, then this is not a friendship. You need to sit with this and you need to decide inside whether these people are worth it. This is from the heart. Or you need to decide whether you've got enough love to give these people from the heart, have you got enough love to give them? Because first of all, you give it to yourself. And then if you have enough, you give it to them. Okay? Because if you don't have enough for yourself, you can't give to them. It's true. So from the heart, could it be that these people don't love themselves and that's why they can't love you? And as I say, explain a lot more. Hey guys, welcome to Heart Vision. It's just a little snippet that I do seeing from the heart instead of the body. And um, it's really interesting that um, I went on YouTube and for some reason, an old, ver an old heart vision had just come up again. And this was done in June, June, July, August, September, October, six months ago, oh my God. And I was so different then. Um, I was very angry. I was very unhappy. Um, this is kind of a codicil. Um, and uh, I was on my own. I think I just, uh, I, I, I hadn't broken up my marriage yet, but I was on my own. And I felt very isolated from a lot of people, the tribe that I felt was the family. And so today, I feel completely different. So different, but I do feel that I do miss them. I miss people, you know, that uh, are on a similar vibration. And there was a lot of anger in that one. But then the heart came through to show you that you've got to love yourself first. You know, learning to love yourself is the greatest love of all. So I thought I'd look at, I can give up, but what was never real. And that is, of course, the miracles. I sacrifice illusions, nothing more. And as illusions go, I find the gifts illusions try to hide, awaiting me in shining welcome and in readiness to give God's ancient messages to me. His memory abides in every gift that I receive of him, and every dream serves only to conceal the self, which is God's only son, the likeness of himself, the Holy One, who still abides in him forever as he still abides in me. Father, to you all sacrifice remains forever inconceivable, and so I cannot sacrifice except in dreams. 
As you created me, I can give up nothing you gave me. What you did not give has no reality. What loss can I anticipate except the loss of fear and the return of love into my mind? So I'm in love. I'm in love with life now. I'm in love with my life. Most of, apart from the fact that the body craves, I'm talking about the heart. I'm in love. I'm singing, I'm dancing, I'm doing everything that I love. The soul is in love, it's happy. The heart, which I believe is, is the, the body, is where the embodiment to me of most of this energy, soul energy is in the heart, to me anyway, because I believe it's all the whole core, the light spreads through the whole core, but the heart, heart vision, okay? So what I'm being told here is that I saw illusions, the ego and the eyes, the body eyes, saw people in a certain way. And people saw me in a certain way. All they saw was the ego. Again, the light shines too. Sorry. They saw the ego. They saw this. They saw the age. They saw the issues. They saw everything in themselves and in me. Okay, the body, the ego. The heart vision now is pure love and understanding that all was an illusion. Everything that I saw in others and they saw in me and I saw in myself in June was an illusion. It was an illusion because what I'm being told here is this was pure love and the love was here to bring me to, a, to now to the space I'm in now, pure love of ascension without the body, forget about the body I'm talking about here. Pure love, pure gratitude, pure balance, knowing that everything is just okay. And I will get up tomorrow and I will do what I love and I will have a wonderful day doing what I love. And that's it. That part of me, the, the heart vision part, doesn't need anybody. Doesn't need anybody, okay? Now, people will say to me, people have hurt you and left you and, you know, the body, the ego of others. And so why are you supporting people like that? Well, because I'm in my heart. And because I'm grateful to these people, I'm grateful for what they gave me, I'm grateful for their talents, I'm grateful for everything. Because I'm in my heart, they gave me Lauren back, they gave me the joy of a seven-year-old in her heart. Does that make sense? I don't want to keep this very long. And that's why I work for everyone. I don't say I'm not going to work for you, I'm not going to work for you. If I believe that someone gave me these incredible gifts that taught me that I, how much I love singing again and running, moving on TV and dancing and getting younger and just excitement of life every single day, I'm talking about this, not this, and not the ego, the mind. Oh, I don't want to get up and all of that. They gave me my life back. And for that, I'm, I'm internally, eternally grateful. Um, I miss them and I would love to see them again. But that's not why I'm doing this. I'm doing this because I'm showing you the difference that I was in June and the different Lauren I am now. The Lauren that is ascending, the Lauren that is in so much in this heart, so full of love. And I've been given so much. The heart chakra is whooshed open to everyone. I love everyone, particularly those that have given me the biggest lessons of my life and helped me to move on into such a space of love, heart vision. Okay, so very quickly again, Course in Miracles today, it's the nail on the head. Exactly. I can't give up I can give up, but what was never real. So it's letting go of the images and the idols that we created. I mean, the Bible said, do not create idols. I put people on pedestals, you put me on pedestals, and we all fell down. Every single one of us. 
I fell, you fell, you fell, you fell. Every single one of you fell, never ever living up to the expectations of the body and the ego. The heart doesn't need anything. It's pure and it's full of gratitude and love and wishes all of you the biggest pain body stuff that Lauren has gone through brought me to my knees, Lauren to her knees in order to have her heart chakra boom, open. Whatever happens, Lauren is in love with herself and life with, and all of you who in June 2020, she was very, very angry with and unhappy with and really did her best to get into the heart and understand it. Now, it's just an obvious fact because the gifts that have come since then, oh my God, <laughs> the heart chakra just went, whoosh, I love you. I love Lauren. I love her seven-year-old. Her seven-year-old's having so much fun. And the most painful things that have been done to Lauren, look what, look what it's done. So if that's not what you wanted, some people, if some, you know, if some entities didn't want that, well, tough. <laughs> entities or people, tough. I'm happy. I'm getting younger. I'm dancing. I'm singing. I'm laughing. I'm meditating. I'm ascending with my beautiful Ascension group, you know who you are, and my mentors and my teachers and this beautiful, beautiful things that are coming to me. And I've got life and singing lessons and gratitude. Gratitude to those that come here once a week and bring me food. Gratitude to the cats. Gratitude, gratitude. But yes, the body. <laughs> I've already done that in the awakening. Watch the awakening. Do some laughter with me. Do some dancing with me in the awakening and understand the message that came through from Lumiere. I love you. And please have a beautiful day, evening or whatever. And yes, I'd love to see some of you. Oh.